2006, David attempted to hold his breath to break the world record at Lincoln Center in New York. Unfortunately, he only made it to seven minutes and eight seconds. What's up, guys? Uh, we are walking in the gutter of San Diego. Uh, now, if you notice in my last vlog that we live in like the minutes from everything. We're like five minutes from everything, anywhere. Except for the beach, the beach takes like 15 minutes. But right now we're on our way to see David Blaine live. His show is tonight. So what happened was we bought the tickets. The other day we bought tickets and they were supposed to be delivered to uh, my email. But they didn't end up getting delivered so I had to, I wrote them an email saying what happened. So they called me like two days later, they called me, or the next day they called me and they left a message because I couldn't answer because I was at work. So they left a message saying they need to confirm some details or whatever. So then I called them back maybe like two hours later at 12 o'clock. And I told them, you just called me, blah, 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 whatever. So it was like, um, yeah, we had to void your transaction because you didn't get back to us in time. Um, so we're going to give you a full refund. So we thought we weren't going to David Blaine because there was no more tickets left. And they were really expensive, like $400 for like the balcony. But we ended up checking today and there was tickets left. And they actually dropped in price a couple hundred dollars. So we ended up buying them. She got it for my birthday. So that's what we're doing. We're going to David Blaine, the magician. If you don't know who he is, he's like the best magician in the world. Look up his YouTube videos. He goes to like celebrities' houses and stuff. Is it real or magic? It's real. And he can fly. Yeah. Look it up if you don't know who it is. So that's where we're going. We're downtown San Diego. It's like a 11 minute walk. Like seven blocks down. We're almost there. Show starts at 8. It's like 7.30 now. So yeah, not much of a video today. I think that's David Blaine's bus over here. I think it's right there. But here it is. David Blaine, live. Civic Theater, San Diego Civic Theater. My camera's about to die. And I don't think we can record in there at all or like take pictures or anything. So I'm not going to be able to show you any of the show. Because he's on tour, so he doesn't want other people to see it when they go to the next show to get it ruined. We got like row H. Pretty close. Here we are, we're in here. Just got a deck of cards. David Blaine, deck of cards, we're in here. And we're ready. Yo, the things David Blaine's doing right now is crazy. He just swallowed a lady's ring. Stuck a hanger down his throat, and then it came back up on the hanger. I don't understand how he did it. He also spit a frog up, and he drank a bunch of water, and spit out. It was crazy. Spitting out kerosene, and it was nuts. right there um, before I end it I just want to say that show is really 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 good um, he has like 36 more shows 37 more 37 shows all together um, he's going all through like California I don't know where else he's going but the show is really good he held his breath for 10 minutes 10 minutes and one second to be exact I don't think that's a world record but like if you do that you're gonna die before you even hit five minutes or you're gonna be brain dead or something like that so it was really crazy um, you're gonna see that whole clip I'm gonna play it right here, right after I'm done talking. Um, the full 10 minutes, plus a little after that of when he's talking to like the crowd and talking to all of us and everything. Um, but yeah, if you wanna see the full clip, stick around, you can watch the full thing, or you can fast forward, or you can just leave here. He said that at one point in his career, he got his, uh, his beat, his heart rate down to eight beats per minute, and the doctors had to like take him out of the tank and just, cause they were scared, they thought he was going into cardiac arrest. But anyways, anybody else would do that, it was just, they would used to be dead. I don't know how he does these things. He did some crazy tricks. They weren't even really tricks. They were just body like stunts. Or, it was crazy. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more videos. Make sure you stick around for this 10 minute um, breath hold because it was just insane. How do you hold your breath for 10 minutes underwater? I can't even hold my breath past probably like 50 seconds. I don't know. But anyways, I will see you guys in the next video. This is the life of Mikey. Peace. Ladies and gentlemen, in a moment, David is going to take his last breath and enter the tank. The moment he goes under the water, feel free to hold your breath.
utilizing every part of his body to conserve as much energy and oxygen as possible. We're coming up on the first minute. One minute. Three minutes. Every little movement that David makes spends energy and costs him lots of time.
2006, David attempted to hold his breath to break the world record at Lincoln Center in New York. Unfortunately, he only made it to seven minutes and eight seconds. During this tour, he vowed he would never break before seven minutes and eight seconds again. Six thirty. Seven minutes. Seven forty. Seven fifty.
There won't be another show where I'm blood dripping on my face all show. Normally when I do an endurance challenge, there, you know, I'm gonna do something like, like let's say one of the stunts is I'm gonna live in a box of nine feet or something, right? <laughs> <laughs> but that's the only activity. <laughs> so, of course, sometimes I'll be like, okay, I'm gonna go figure out how to shove an ice pick in my hand, but that's a single activity. Or I'm gonna figure out how to put a ring in my stomach and put the hanger in again, that's a single activity. So the idea of combining everything together into one night, that's kind of the, uh, the craziest endurance challenge of my life, so. <laughs> Today, because I can't see them. Kira? Oh, hey, Kira. <coughs> I'm not exactly cold. <coughs> I'm just kind of like, <coughs> like, uh, like I feel like, uh, you know, the, 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 every time I do the show, I feel like I just got beat up or something. <laughs> so I'm kind of like, probably my body's just get reacclimating to the, it, it, I'll be okay soon, I think. Uh, I keep the water somewhere usually between 88 and 91. <clears throat> what I've noticed is if you bring it to about 80, 87, the mammalian reflex kicks in when you're holding your breath, which is an instinct that we all have dialed into us for a long time, and it makes your breath holding much more efficient. So, the, you know, it's like a balance. So the other thing I figured out, I think Steve was mentioning it, when I do the breath hold, I go upside down. Because I used to think Houdini, when he was upside down in the tank, I used to think it was just a cool visual. <clears throat> but then I tried it one time I'm holding my breath, and I realized that's why dolphins and whales and mammals dive head first, because then the air isn't trying to escape out, it's kind of going up into the lungs. So I noticed when I go upside down, it actually gives me a better ability to not, not have to have the urge to breathe as much. Thank you everybody, thanks for coming.